The idea of using two minus signs together in a single Excel formula might seem odd to many. However, doing so offers some rather interesting and powerful options. In this tip, we will describe and demonstrate how and when you should use two minus signs in tandem when building Excel formulas. Now, as everyone knows, a single minus sign in a formula causes Excel to change the sign of the result, for example, from positive to negative. But what do two minus signs in a formula do? Using two minus signs in an Excel formula causes the formula to transform a result of true into a value of 1 and a result of false into a value of 0. Using two minus signs in a formula has no effect on any result other than true or false. In the very simple examples currently shown on screen, cell C3 contains the formula currently shown in cell B3. That is, equals parentheses 5 greater than 3 close parentheses. Now because that condition is true, the result of the formula is true as pictured in cell C3. However, the formula in cell C4 is that currently shown in cell B4, which is equals minus minus parentheses 5 greater than 3 close parentheses. And even though the condition is still true, the result of the formula appearing in cell C4 is 1 because of the presence of the double minus signs. Perhaps the most common application of using this technique is found when using Excel's sum product function to sum data that meets multiple criteria. For instance, in the worksheet currently shown on the screen, we could use a sum product formula along with double minus signs to sum all of the data where the region is equal to Midwest and the product line is equal to masks. The formula to sum the data when the region is equal to Midwest and the product line is equal to mask is currently highlighted on screen. This formula works by creating an array of data that is four columns wide. The first two columns consist of only zeros and ones, and these values are generated by the results of the minus minus B7 through B30 equals Midwest and minus minus C7 through C30 equals mask statements. The third column in the array is simply the amounts currently found in cells D7 through D30. The fourth column of the array is the product of multiplying the first three columns together. Pictorially, the data currently shown on the screen represents this four-column array. Note that the array currently shown on the screen is pictured for instructional guidance only. The sum product function does not create such an array on the face of the worksheet. Yet, you can clearly see that multiplying, for example, on row 7, 1 times 0 times 524.92 yields a result of 0. On the other hand, row 9, 1 times 1 times 235.54 yields a result of 235.54. Anytime you might need to use some type of logical function in Excel and wish to have the results returned as either 1 or 0 instead of true or false, simply use double minus signs as part of your formula and you will be well on your way to creating some powerful Excel formulas. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.